The Three Gorges Dam is a hydroelectric gravity dam that spans the Yangtze River by the town of Sanduping, in Yiling District, Yichang, Hubei Province, China. The Three Gorges Dam has been the world's largest power station in terms of installed capacity 22,500 megawatts since 2012. In 2014, the dam generated 98.8 terawatt-hours and had the world record, but was surpassed by the Itaipu Dam, which set the new world record in 2016, producing 103.1 terawatt-hours, except for the locks. The dam project was completed and fully functional as of July 4, 2012, when the last of the main water turbines in the underground plant began production. The ship lift was complete in December 2015. Each main water turbine has a capacity of 700 megawatts. The dam body was completed in 2006. Coupling the dam's 32 main turbines with two smaller generators 50 megawatts each to power the plant itself, the total electric generating capacity of the dam is 22,500 megawatts, as well as producing electricity. The dam is intended to increase the Yangtze River's shipping capacity and reduce the potential for floods downstream by providing flood storage space. China regards the project as monumental as well as a success socially and economically, with the design of state-of-the-art large turbines, and a move toward limiting greenhouse gas emissions. However, the dam flooded archaeological and cultural sites, displaced some 1.3 million people, and had caused significant ecological changes including an increased risk of landslides. The dam has been controversial both domestically and abroad. Topic: History. A large dam across the Yangtze River was originally envisioned by Sun Yat-sen in the International Development of China in 1919. He stated that a dam capable of generating 30 million horsepower 22 gigawatts was possible downstream of the Three Gorges. In 1932, the nationalist government, led by Chiang Kai-shek, began preliminary work on plans in the Three Gorges. In 1939, Japanese military forces occupied Yi Chong and surveyed the area. A design, the Otani Plan, was completed for the dam in anticipation of a Japanese victory over China. In 1944, the United States Bureau of Reclamation head design engineer, John L. Savage, surveyed the area and drew up a dam proposal for the Yangtze River project. Some 54 Chinese engineers went to the U.S. for training. The original plans called for the dam to employ a unique method for moving ships. The ships would move into locks located at the lower and upper ends of the dam and then cranes with cables would move the ships from one lock to the next. In the case of smaller water craft, groups of craft would be lifted together for efficiency. It is not known whether this solution was considered for its water-saving performance or because the engineers thought the difference in height between the river above and below the dam too great for alternative methods. Some exploration, survey, economic study, and design work was done, but the government, in the midst of the Chinese Civil War, halted work in 1947. After the 1949 communist takeover, Mao Zedong supported the project, but began the Gezhuba Dam project nearby first, and economic problems including the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution slowed progress. After the 1954 Yangtze River floods, in 1956, Mao Zedong authored, Swimming, a poem about his fascination with a dam on the Yangtze River. In 1958, after the Hundred Flowers campaign, some engineers who spoke out against the project were imprisoned. During the 1980s, the idea of a dam re emerged. 
The National People's Congress approved the dam in 1992, out of 2,633 delegates, 1,767 voted in favor, 177 voted against, 664 abstained, and 25 members did not vote. Construction started on December 14, 1994. The dam was expected to be fully operational in 2009, but additional projects, such as the underground power plant with six additional generators, delayed full operation until May 2012. The ship lift was completed in 2015. The dam had raised the water level in the reservoir to 172.5 meters (566 feet) above sea level by the end of 2008, and the designed maximum level of 175 meters (574 feet) by October 2010. Topic: <laughs> Composition and dimensions. Made of concrete and steel, the dam is 2,335 meters (7,661 feet) long, and the top of the dam is 185 meters (607 feet) above sea level. The project used 27.2 times 10 to the 6 cubic meters (35.6 times 10 to the 6 cuyd) of concrete, mainly for the dam wall. Used 463,000 t of steel, enough to build 63 Eiffel towers, and moved about 102.6 times 10 to the 6 cubic meters (134.2 times 10 to the 6 cuyd) of earth. The concrete dam wall is 181 meters (594 feet) high above the rock basis. When the water level is at its maximum of 175 meters (574 feet) above sea level, 110 meters (361 feet) higher than the river level downstream, the dam reservoir is on average about 660 kilometers (410 miles) in length and 1.12 kilometers (3,675 feet) in width. It contains 39.3 cubic kilometers, 31,900,000 acre feet of water and has a total surface area of 1,045 square kilometers, 403 square miles. On completion, the reservoir flooded a total area of 632 square kilometers, 244 square miles of land, compared to the 1350 square kilometers, 520 square miles of reservoir created by the Itaipu Dam. Topic: Economics. The government estimated that the Three Gorges Dam project would cost 180 billion yuan, 22.5 billion United States dollars. By the end of 2008, spending had reached 148.365 billion yuan, among which 64.613 billion yuan was spent on construction, 68.557 billion yuan on relocating affected residents, and 15.195 billion yuan on financing. It was estimated in 2009 that the construction cost would be recovered when the dam had generated 1,000 terawatt hours, 3,600 petajoules of electricity, yielding 250 billion yuan. Full cost recovery was thus expected to occur 10 years after the dam started full operation, but the full cost of the Three Gorges Dam was recovered by December 20, 2013. Funding sources include the Three Gorges Dam Construction Fund, profits from the Gezhuba Dam, loans from the China Development Bank, loans from domestic and foreign commercial banks, corporate bonds, and revenue from both before and after the dam is fully operational. Additional charges were assessed as follows, every province receiving power from the Three Gorges Dam had to pay 7 yen per megawatt-hour extra. Other provinces had to pay an additional charge of 4 yen per megawatt-hour. 
The Tibet Autonomous Region pays no surcharge. Topic: <laughs> Power generation and distribution. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Generating capacity. Power generation is managed by China Yangtze Power, a listed subsidiary of China Three Gorges Corporation (CTGC), a central enterprise SOE administered by SASAC. The Three Gorges Dam is the world's largest capacity hydroelectric power station with 34 generators, 32 main generators, each with a capacity of 700 megawatts, and two plant power generators, each with capacity of 50 megawatts, making a total capacity of 22,500 megawatts. Among those 32 main generators, 14 are installed in the north side of the dam, 12 in the south side, and the remaining 6 in the underground power plant in the mountain south of the dam. Annual electricity generation in 2015 was 87 terawatt-hours, which is 20 times more than the Hoover Dam. Topic. Generators. The main generators weigh about 6,000 tons each and are designed to produce more than 700 megawatts of power. The designed head of the generator is 80.6 meters 264 feet. The flow rate varies between 600 to 950 cubic meters per second 21,000 to 34,000 cubic feet per second depending on the head available. The greater the head, the less water needed to reach full power. Three Gorges uses Francis turbines. Turbine diameter is 9.7, 10.4 meters VGS design, Alstom's design and rotation speed is 75 revolutions per minute. This means that in order to generate power at 50 Hz, the generator rotors have 80 poles. Rated power is 778 MVA, with a maximum of 840 MVA and a power factor of 0.9. The generator produces electrical power at 20 kV. The electricity generated is then stepped up to 500 kV for transmission at 50 Hz. The outer diameter of the generator stator is 21.4, 20.9 meters. The inner diameter is 18.5, 18.8 meters. The stator, the biggest of its kind, is 3.1, 3 meters in height. Bearing load is 5,055,500 of a ton. Average efficiency is over 94%, and reaches 96.5%. The generators were manufactured by two joint ventures, one of them Alstom, AB Group, Kaverner, and the Chinese company Harbin Motor, the other Voith, General Electric, Siemens abbreviated as VGS, and the Chinese company Oriental Motor. The technology transfer agreement was signed together with the contract. Most of the generators are water-cooled. Some newer ones are air-cooled, which are simpler in design and manufacture and are easier to maintain. Topic. Generator installation progress The first north side main generator no. Two, started on July 10, 2003, the north side became completely operational September 7, 2005, with the implementation of generator number 9. Full power 9,800 megawatts was only reached on October 18, 2006, after the water level reached 156 meters. The 12 south side main generators are also in operation. No. 22 began operation on June 11, 2007, and number 15 started up on October 30, 2008. 
The sixth number 17 began operation on December 18, 2007, raising capacity to 14.1 gigawatts, finally surpassing Itaipu 14.0 gigawatts to become the world's largest hydropower plant by capacity as of May 23, 2012, when the last main generator, no 27, finished its final test. The six underground main generators are also in operation, raising capacity to 22.5 gigawatts. After nine years of construction, installation and testing, the power plant is now fully operational. Topic. Output milestones By August 16, 2011, the plant had generated 500 terawatt-hours of electricity. In July 2008 it generated 10.3 terawatt-hours of electricity, its first month over 10 terawatt-hours. On June 30, 2009, after the river flow rate increased to over 24,000 cubic meters, all 28 generators were switched on, producing only 16,100 megawatts because the head available during flood season is insufficient. During an August 2009 flood, the plant first reached its maximum output for a short period. During the November to May dry season, power output is limited by the river's flow rate, as seen in the diagrams on the right. When there is enough flow, power output is limited by plant generating capacity. The maximum power output curves were calculated based on the average flow rate at the dam site, assuming the water level is 175 meters and the plant gross efficiency is 90.15%. The actual power output in 2008 was obtained based on the monthly electricity sent to the grid. The Three Gorges Dam reached its design maximum reservoir water level of 175 meters (574 feet) for the first time on October 26, 2010, in which the intended annual power generation capacity of 84.7 terawatt hours was realized. In 2012, the dam's 32 generating units generated a record 98.1 terawatt-hours of electricity, which accounts for 14% of China's total hydro generation. Topic. Distribution The State Grid Corporation and China Southern Power Grid paid a flat rate of 250 yen per megawatt hour, 35 United States dollars and 70 cents until July 2, 2008. Since then, the price has varied by province, from 228 yen and 70 sen minus 401.8 per megawatt hours. Higher paying customers, such as Shanghai, receive priority. Nine provinces and two cities consume power from the dam. Power distribution and transmission infrastructure cost about 34.387 billion yuan. Construction was completed in December 2007, one year ahead of schedule. Power is distributed over multiple 500 kilovolt (kV) transmission lines. Three direct current DC lines to the East China grid carry 7,200 megawatts, three Gorgas, Shanghai 3,000 megawatts, HVDC three Gorgas, Changzhou 3,000 megawatts, and HVDC Gezhuba, Shanghai 1,200 megawatts. The alternating current AC lines to the Central China grid have a total capacity of 12,000 megawatts. The DC transmission line HVDC-3 Gorgas, Guangdong to the South China grid has a capacity of 3,000 MW. The dam was expected to provide 10% of China's power. However, electricity demand has increased more quickly than previously projected. Even fully operational, on average, it supports only about 1.7% of electricity demand in China in the year of 2011, when the Chinese electricity demand reached 4,692.8 terawatt-hours.
Topic: Environmental impact. Topic: Emissions. According to the National Development and Reform Commission of China, 366 grams of coal would produce 1 kilowatt-hour of electricity during 2006. At full power, 3 gorgas reduces coal consumption by 31 million tons per year, avoiding 100 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions, millions of tons of dust, 1 million tons of sulfur dioxide, 370,000 tons of nitric oxide, 10,000 tons of carbon monoxide, and a significant amount of mercury. Hydropower saves the energy needed to mine, wash, and transport the coal from northern China. From 2003 to 2007, power production equaled that of 84 million tons of standard coal, reducing carbon dioxide by 190 million tons, sulfur dioxide by 2.29 million tons, and nitrogen oxides by 980,000 tons. The dam increased the Yangtze's barge capacity sixfold, reducing carbon dioxide emission by 630,000 tons. From 2004 to 2007, a total of 198 million tons of goods passed through the ship locks. Compared to using trucking, barges reduced carbon dioxide emission by 10 million tons and lowered costs by 25%. <laughs> Topic. Erosion and sedimentation Two hazards are uniquely identified with the dam. One is that sedimentation projections are not agreed upon, and the other is that the dam sits on a seismic fault. At current levels, 80% of the land in the area is experiencing erosion, depositing about 40 million tons of sediment into the Yangtze annually. Because the flow is slower above the dam, much of this sediment will now settle there instead of flowing downstream, and there will be less sediment downstream. The absence of silt downstream has three effects. Some hydrologists expect downstream riverbanks to become more vulnerable to flooding. Shanghai, more than 1,600 kilometers 990 miles away, rests on a massive sedimentary plain. The arriving silt, so long as it does arrive, strengthens the bed on which Shanghai is built. The less the tonnage of arriving sediment the more vulnerable is this biggest of Chinese cities to inundation. Benthic sediment buildup causes biological damage and reduces aquatic biodiversity. <inaudible> <inaudible> Landslides Erosion in the reservoir, induced by rising water, causes frequent major landslides that have led to noticeable disturbance in the reservoir surface, including two incidents in May 2009 when somewhere between 20,000 and 50,000 cubic meters and CUYD of material plunged into the flooded Wuxia Gorge of the Wu River. Also, in the first four months of 2010, there were 97 significant landslides. Topic. Waste management The dam catalyzed improved upstream wastewater treatment around Chongqing and its suburban areas. According to the Ministry of Environmental Protection, as of April 2007, more than 50 new plants could treat 1.84 million tons per day, 65% of the total need. About 32 landfills were added, which could handle 7,664.5 tons of solid waste every day. Over 1 billion tons of wastewater are released annually into the river, which was more likely to be swept away before the reservoir was created. This has left the water looking stagnant, polluted and murky. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Forest cover. In 1997, the Three Gorges area had 10% forestation, down from 20% in the 1950s. Research by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization suggested that the Asia Pacific region would, overall, gain about 6,000 square kilometers (2,300 square miles) of forest by 2008. That is a significant change from the 13,000 square kilometers, 5,000 square miles net loss of forest each year in the 1990s. This is largely due to China's large reforestation effort. This accelerated after the 1998 Yangtze River floods convinced the government that it must restore tree cover, especially in the Yangtze basin upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. Topic. Wildlife Concerns about the potential wildlife impact of the dam predate the National People's Congress's approval in 1992. This region has long been known for its rich biodiversity. It is home to 6,388 species of plants, which belong to 238 families and 1508 genera. Of these plant species, 57% are endangered. These rare species are also used as ingredients in traditional Chinese medicines. Already, the percentage of forested area in the region surrounding the Three Gorges Dam has dropped from 20% in 1950 to less than 10% as of 2002, negatively affecting all plant species in this locality. The region also provides habitats to hundreds of freshwater and terrestrial animal species. Freshwater fish are especially affected by dams due to changes in the water temperature and flow regime. Many other fish are hurt in the turbine blades of the hydroelectric plants as well. This is particularly detrimental to the ecosystem of the region because the Yangtze River Basin is home to 361 different fish species and accounts for 27% of all endangered freshwater fish species in China. Other aquatic species have been endangered by the dam, particularly the Beiji, or Chinese River Dolphin, now extinct. In fact, government Chinese scholars even claim that the Three Gorges Dam directly caused the extinction of the Beiji. Of the 3,000 to 4,000 remaining critically endangered Siberian crane, a large number currently spend the winter in wetlands that will be destroyed by the Three Gorges Dam. The dam contributed to the functional extinction of the Beiji Yangtze River dolphin. Though it was close to this level even at the start of construction, the dam further decreased its habitat and increased ship travel, which are among the factors causing what will be its ultimate demise. In addition, populations of the Yangtze sturgeon are guaranteed to be negatively affected by the dam. <laughs> Topic. Terrestrial impact. In 2010, NASA scientists calculated that shift of water mass stored by the dams would increase the length of the Earth's day by 0.06 microseconds and make the Earth slightly more round in the middle and flat on the poles. Topic. Floods, agriculture, industry An important function of the dam is to control flooding, which is a major problem for the seasonal river of the Yangtze. Millions of people live downstream of the dam, with many large, important cities like Wuhan, Nanjing, and Shanghai situated adjacent to the river. Plenty of farm land and China's most important industrial area are built beside the river. The reservoir's flood storage capacity is 22 cubic kilometers, 5.3 cubic miles, 18 million acre feet. This capacity will reduce the frequency of major downstream flooding from once every 10 years to once every 100 years. The dam is expected to minimize the effect of even a super 
flood. In 1954, the river flooded 193,000 square kilometers, 74,500 square miles, killing 33,169 people and forcing 18,884,000 people to move. The flood covered Wuhan, a city of 8 million people, for over three months, and the Jinguang Railway was out of service for more than 100 days. The 1954 flood carried 50 cubic kilometers 12 cubic miles of water. The dam could only divert the water above Chenglingji, leaving 30 to 40 cubic kilometers 7.2 to 9.6 cubic miles to be diverted. Also, the dam cannot protect against some of the large tributaries downstream, including the Shang, Zishui, Yuanshui, Lishui, Hanshui, and the Gan. In 1998, a flood in the same area caused billions of dollars in damage, 2,039 square kilometers 787 square miles of farmland were flooded. The flood affected more than 2.3 million people, killing 1,526. In early August 2009, the largest flood in five years passed through the dam site. The dam limited the water flow to less than 40,000 cubic meters 1,400,000 cubic feet per second, raising the upstream water level from 145.13 meters 476.1 feet on August 1, 2009, to 152.88 meters 501.6 feet on August 8, 2009. A full 4.27 cubic kilometers, 1.02 cubic miles of flood water was captured and the river flow was cut by as much as 15,000 cubic meters, 530,000 cubic feet per second. The dam discharges its reservoir during the dry season between December and March every year. This increases the flow rate of the river downstream, and provides fresh water for agricultural and industrial usage. It also improves shipping conditions. The water level upstream drops from 175 to 145 meters 574 to 476 feet, preparing for the rainy season. The water also powers the Gezhuba Dam downstream. Since the filling of the reservoir in 2003, the Three Gorges Dam has supplied an extra 11 cubic kilometers 2.6 cubic miles of fresh water to downstream cities and farms during the dry season. During the 2010 South China floods in July, inflows at the Three Gorges Dam reached a peak of 70,000 cubic meters per second, 2,500,000 cubic feet per second, exceeding the peak during the 1998 Yangtze River floods. The dam's reservoir rose nearly 3 meters, 9.8 feet in 24 hours and reduced the outflow to 40,000 cubic meters per second, 1,400,000 cubic feet per second in discharges downstream, effectively alleviating serious impacts on the middle and lower river. Topic: <laughs> Navigating the dam. Topic. Locks The installation of ship locks is intended to increase river shipping from 10 million to 100 million tons annually, as a result transportation costs will be cut between 30 and 37 percent. Shipping will become safer, since the gorges are notoriously dangerous to navigate. Ships with much deeper draft will be able to navigate 2,400 kilometers 1,500 miles upstream from Shanghai all the way to Chongqing. It is expected that shipping to Chongqing will increase fivefold. There are two series of ship locks installed near the dam, 30 degrees 50 minutes 12 seconds north 111 degrees 1 minute 10 seconds east. Each of them is made up of five stages, with transit time at around four hours. Maximum vessel size is 10,000 tons. 
the locks are 280 meters long, 35 meters wide, and 5 meters deep, 918 times 114 times 16.4 feet. That is 30 meters 98 feet longer than those on the St. Lawrence Seaway, but half as deep. Before the dam was constructed, the maximum freight capacity at the Three Gorges site was 18.0 million tons per year. From 2004 to 2007, a total of 198 million tons of freight passed through the locks. The freight capacity of the river increased six times and the cost of shipping was reduced by 25%. The total capacity of the ship locks is expected to reach 100 million tons per year. These locks are staircase locks, whereby inner lock gate pairs serve as both the upper gate and lower gate. The gates are the vulnerable hinged type, which, if damaged, could temporarily render the entire flight unusable. As there are separate sets of locks for upstream and downstream traffic, this system is more water efficient than bi-directional staircase locks. Topic. Ship lift In addition to the canal locks, there is a ship lift, a kind of elevator for vessels. The ship lift can lift ships of up to 3,000 tons. The vertical distance traveled is 113 meters 371 feet, and the size of the ship lift's basin is 120 meters times 18 meters times 3.5 meters 394 feet times 59 feet times 11 feet. The ship lift takes 30 to 40 minutes to transit, as opposed to the 3 to 4 hours for stepping through the locks. One complicating factor is that the water level can vary dramatically. The ship lift must work even if water levels vary by 12 meters 39 feet on the lower side, and 30 meters 98 feet on the upper side. The ship lift's design uses a helical gear system, to climb or descend a toothed rack. The ship lift was not yet complete when the rest of the project was officially opened on May 20, 2006. In November 2007, it was reported in the local media that construction of the ship lift started in October 2007. In February 2012, Xinhua reported that the four towers that are to support the ship lift had almost been completed. The report said the towers had reached 189 meters (620 feet) of the anticipated 195 meters (640 feet). The towers would be completed by June. 2012 and the entire shiplift in 2015. As of May 2014, the ship lift was expected to be completed by July 2015. It was tested in December 2015 and announced complete in January 2016. Lahmeyer, the German firm that designed the ship lift, said it will take a vessel less than an hour to transit the lift. An article in Steel Construction says the actual time of the lift will be 21 minutes. It says that the expected dimensions of the 3,000 tons 3 million kilograms passenger vessels the ship lift's basin was designed to carry will be 84.5 by 17.2 by 2.65 meters 277.2 feet times 56.4 feet times 8.7 feet. The moving mass including counterweights is 34,000 tons. The trials of elevator finished in July 2016. The first cargo ship was lifted in July 15. The lift time comprised 8 minutes. Shanghai Daily reported that the first operational use of the lift was on September 18, 2016, when limited operational testing of the lift began. Topic. Portage railways Plans also exist for the construction of short portage railways bypassing the dam area altogether. Two short rail lines, one on each side of the river, are to be constructed. 
The 88-kilometre long northern portage railway Bayan Fanbatai Lu will run from the Taipingxi port facility Taipingxi Gang on the northern side of the Yangtze, just upstream from the dam, via Yichang East Railway Station to the Baiyang Tianjahe port facility in Baiyang Town, Baiyang Zhen below Yichang. The 95-kilometre long southern portage railway Nanan Fan Batai Lu will run from Maoping upstream of the dam via Yichang South Railway Station to Jicheng on the Jiaozhou Luzhou Railway. In late 2012, preliminary work started along both future railway routes. Topic. Relocation of residents Though the large size of the reservoir caused huge relocation upstream, it was considered justified by the flood protection it provides for communities downstream. As of June 2008, China relocated 1.24 million residents ending with Gaoyang in Hubei province as 13 cities, 140 towns and 1350 villages either flooded or were partially flooded by the reservoir a underscore 2M, County Route 31 HP, S15, about 1.5% of the province's 60.3 million and Chongqing municipalities 31.4%. 4, 4 million population. About 140,000 residents were relocated to other provinces. Relocation was completed on July 22, 2008. Some 2007 reports claimed that Chongqing municipality will encourage an additional 4 million people to move away from the dam to the main urban area of Chongqing by 2020. However, the municipal government explained that the relocation is due to urbanization, rather than the dam, and people involved included other areas of the municipality. Allegedly, funds for relocating 13,000 farmers around Gaoyang disappeared after being sent to the local government, leaving residents without compensation. Topic. Other effects Topic. Culture and aesthetics The 600 kilometers 370 miles long reservoir flooded some 1,300 archaeological sites and altered the appearance of the three gorges as the water level rose over 91 meters 300 feet. Cultural and historical relics are being moved to higher ground as they are discovered, but the flooding inevitably covered undiscovered relics. Some sites could not be moved because of their location, size, or design. For example, the Hanging Coffin site high in the Shen Nong Gorge is part of the cliffs. Topic. National security. The United States Department of Defense reported that in Taiwan, proponents of strikes against the mainland apparently hope that merely presenting credible threats to China's urban population or high-value targets, such as the Three Gorges Dam, will deter Chinese military coercion. The notion that the military in Taiwan would seek to destroy the dam provoked an angry response from the mainland Chinese media. People's Liberation Army General Liu Yuan was quoted in the China Youth Daily saying that the People's Republic of China would be seriously on guard against threats from Taiwan independence terrorists. The Three Gorges Dam is a steel concrete gravity dam. The water is held back by the innate mass of the individual dam sections. As a result, damage to an individual section should not affect other parts of the dam. However, damage to the entire dam through means such as missiles could cause flooding along a large area of the Yangtze River due to overflow spillage. Topic. Structural integrity. 
Days after the first filling of the reservoir, around 80 hairline cracks were observed in the dam structure. The submerged spillway gates of the dam might pose a risk of cavitation, similar to that which severely damaged the poorly designed and cavitating spillways of the Glen Canyon Dam in the U.S. state of Arizona, which was unable to properly withstand the Colorado River floods of 1983. However, 163,000 concrete units of the Three Gorges Dam all passed quality testing and the deformation was within design limits. An experts group gave the project overall a good quality rating. <laughs> <laughs> Upstream dams In order to maximize the utility of the Three Gorges Dam and cut down on sedimentation from the Jincha River, the upper course of the Yangtze River, authorities plan to build a series of dams on the Jincha, including Wudongda Dam, Baihitan Dam, along with the now-completed Shiladu and Shangjaba Dams. The total capacity of those four dams is 38,500 megawatts, almost double the capacity of the three gorges. Baihitan is preparing for construction and Wudongda is seeking government approval. Another eight dams are in the midstream of the Jincha and eight more upstream of it. Topic. See also. Baihiliang Underwater Museum Energy Policy of China List of largest power stations in the world List of largest hydroelectric power stations List of power stations in China List of dams and reservoirs in China Three Gorges Museum Liang Wyan, one of the leading engineers who designed the water turbines for the dam. <laughs>